All right, so I'm working on a project that I should have did a long time ago, and I should have done it from the beginning, but I wanted to get it done, and I just kind of rednecked it. I'm gonna redo the wiring in this truck. First, I gotta drop the dash and drop the steering column, so it's probably gonna be down for a couple, about a week or so, and uh, redo some of this wiring, because it's a rat's nest, and need to add a fuse box. So, <laughs> Yeah, this is what we've got going here. And I don't like this. This is not good, not professional. But it's okay, so that's what we're gonna get started on. We're gonna redo everything. So let's get to it. All right, I got something a little bit more comfortable on, something that I can move around with and uh, not burn up. Uh, we're gonna start by taking this dash out. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna rewire these. And then I'm going to remove these two switches, at least the wiring, because we're not we're not using nitrous anymore. We've got to make room for the supercharger. And uh, that's fine. That's fine. This is going there because it's kind of hard to focus going down the racetrack and having to look down to see a red light to shift. So I'm going to put it right there. And all that wiring will be nice and tidy like it should have been in the first place. But like I said, we're right next around here. It works. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the gist. Nothing crazy. So let's look at this. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. But that's okay, because we're going to get all this took care of and make it look all nice and a lot better. Operations have had to move inside. We have made a little bit of progress. We got everything ripped out, and um, I know where everything is supposed to go. I've gotten rid of all the wires that I'm not using for well, this next project. So now I've got to figure out where I'm going to mount my relays and my, fuse, my little fuse box I got. I don't know. I think I'm going to put it there. That's mounted. It's not going nowhere, neither. That'll work. Just some bullshit I came up with. This is the fuse box in the glove compartment. This is the distribution block that is under the dash. Comes over, goes to the fuses, and then what needs to go to the relays for the fans and the fuel pump will... I have the Terminator sending the signal um, signal wire in here. The ground goes to the side of the cab, and the output goes through the dash over to the driver's side. Fans goes forward. Fuel pump goes right here. It goes back. And then I also have my fuse power coming from the fuse, the fuse to the marker and headlights and to the brake lights. Another fuse for the turn signals. I'm still gonna, I gotta build those. And then I also have an accessory for whatever if I add something else in the, in the future. And then I also have my hot wire coming in that goes to my ignition, my ignition on, which also sends um, four volts to the alternator. So I think this is, um, a very rough sketch. I'm just gonna make all these wires together and have them in one big group. They come in through the glove box and then go over to the fans and wherever else they need to go. She came up with the design. Hey, you done? Is that finished? You done with this? Don't look half bad, buddy. Good job. Now that I've got that little job done, I have to shift my focus in here and figure out where everything's going. It doesn't look like I've made much progress, but I actually have. So in this harness, I have the wires for 
the power windows. This is the um, this is the hot wire for the power windows. These are the two wires. This one is for the fuel pump, and this one is for the fans. This one is for the turn signal relays that I have got to wire up. This wire, it's going to go up through here, and I'm actually out of wire, so I have to stop with that. But I'm going to run it up through here, and I'm going to have a dome light right here. And I'm also going to have a light in the engine bay shining down on the top of the engine at some point. But everything else, all this stuff, I know where this is supposed to go. This is the alternator. This is the trigger for the alternator. Starter. Uh, Terminator hot. Fuel pump for the relay. Inputs, outputs. And um, these down here are for the trans brake. This wire, I honestly, I don't remember what this is for. It's some kind of ground. It just goes to the battery. So, not sure. update i have my hot wires for my fans and my fuel pump and the fuel pump activation wire and my turn signals ready to go these are all my hot wires that go to the fuses these are my inputs and outputs i have one extra uh input there in case i need it alternator wire main battery key switch and these go to the headlights and the power windows. I have my in and out inputs and outputs here. This is all the stuff for the ignition. My canvas runs over here. It's going to be mounted on the dash. Terminator is mounted. Wiring harness is secure. Relays are mounted. Everything is secure. How's that look? Look decent? All right, can't even see the little strip right there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Gonna run the wire through the A pillar. Gonna run the wire down through here and go down into a switch. All right, it's time to put the dash in. Got all this situated the way I want it. All the necessaries wire. All the necessary wires ran and uh, tucked up. Let's put the dash in. Good thing about this truck, this dash is factory, but extremely light. Now that I've If you're looking to pull the S10 dash out, you've got one bolt here, two under the, the vent defroster, and one over there. And then there's a bunch under here, which I'm no longer using. Good thing is now I have good access to my Terminator. And then here's my fuse box. Gotta run my wires up here real quick. And hopefully they, uh, they all reach, which they should. If this works the way it should, then this little harness here will come up in here, just like that. Probably going to take it off that clamp and run it right through here. And then this harness will go down in there, and it will hook up to my block right here. And everything will plug into the back of the fuse box. Time to heat shrink all these and label them. Had my wife make some labels. We're gonna label all that. And she is going to heat shrink everything else. And get right. 
All right, I've added some LEDs and once I hit the, once I plug them in, they should come on. This is just gonna be a test. Oh man, that looks pretty dang good. See how they're tucked up under there? Those are tucked up under there. And the glove box is finished. Relays are labeled, wired, shrink, zip tied, secured. Solid state relay for the trans brake is wired, secured, and everything else is finished here. The only thing left to do is put everything that's supposed to go here, where it's supposed to go, secure it, and fasten up a couple grounds, and we are finished. Over in this department, my switch panel, I've got my wires ran for my LEDs. This is the fused wire that comes from here. These are the outputs to go to the one goes up and then one goes to the engine bay. Starter wire and then these two are the, um, this is the starter ignition wire power and then this is the key on power and then this is started. So this thing is done and it's ready to go back in and move on to the next project. Got the battery connected so whenever I hit one of these switches Either my interior lights are gonna come on or my engine bay lights are gonna come on. Cool. Cool. And just for reference on how powerful these lights are, it is pitch black in here and I can't see anything. That's pretty dang bright. Let's turn the engine bay on. I can change plugs and do whatever I need. So I wasn't too smart in high school when it comes to mathematics, but if my schematics and mathematicals are uh, correct, the truck should fire up. So let's try. All right, so ignition should run the fuel pump. And it does not. How about now? Oh yeah. I had this wire and this wire switched, which was something that I was afraid of. So let's see if it starts. It starts. So I took my old gauge cluster and I built this little stainless, uh, maybe it's aluminum, I don't know. But I built this little piece for my Terminator dash to mount right here. And uh, it's, it's, it's nobody's gonna see it, but I think it's it fits perfect. She helped too. So today is the last day of filming for this video. Um, this has been a over almost two week long project. I haven't had a chance to really do anything. My hair's a little crazy. Took off work today because I have a doctor's appointment. But we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna let it run. Make sure the fans kick on, and then that this whole video will be done. I still have to rewire my starter because it's still starting a little sluggish. But other than that, the fuse box and all that has turned out really good. All right. Yep, see what I mean? Uh. Let this thing run for a few minutes and get up the temp. She's working. So we're at 177 degrees. My fans should kick on around 185. Apparently off. They should be on. And they're not, so I gotta figure that out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I think the trigger switch is the wrong wire, so I'm gonna swap it real quick. Gosh. 
and then I'm gonna heat shrink it. So now, when I flip the key on, they should come on. And they don't, so. I have to have my relay wired up for a ground output, which is no big deal. Two things. I had the wrong output and I had to wire it for the Holly giving me a ground output signal. So they're working. So now that everything is back together and all the fuses are good, I've got appropriate fuses where I want them. This project's finished. All I gotta do now is just get everything out of here and clean it up. It's gonna be all for this video. Make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you.